95% of day traders fail. They lose money month over month, which means that 5% of day traders make money month over month. My goal and all of the information that I put on this channel is to help you get in that 5%. The things that are required to do so is consistency, tracking your progress, and consistency, and proper risk management, obviously. But I wanna share some numbers with you that really make my heart feel good about all of the stuff that we are doing. Some of you guys already know this, some of you don't, but we just did Strategy Wars season two. The concept behind Strategy Wars is that individuals pick a strategy. One strategy that they, only that strategy they can trade for an entire month. Every single day and every single profitable day, they submit their trades and they gain points for their team. The concept behind this is to literally just stick to one strategy and be consistent to teach that as a habit for everybody. And so we just finished off a month long season with this. And of the six teams that exist and the 750 people that participated this season, they were able to generate in total $1.32 million in profit. My team, the three line strikers at 143,000 and the DeLorean Delta Force trying to really show off at 448,000. Not all of these were live accounts. Some of them were demo accounts. Some of them were live accounts. Some of them were funded account challenges, which numerous people passed by the way, phase one and phase two. And of all of the 750 people that participated in this, 15% were profitable every single day, which blows that other number of 5% of profitable traders out of the water. So of the top 100 traders, the top 25 is what I want to focus on right now. Five people in the trading floor community went every single day for an entire month with profit every single day. Obviously, one of those was Christy. And I've told you guys this a million times. I am not the best day trader. I managed to tie with eight people for 14th place. I had 16 profitable trading days of the 21 and managed to complete level seven on the 20 pip challenge. If you don't know what that is, I will talk about it later. But the thing that really surprised me right here is the winner of Strategy Wars, the team that won the most points and that was the Brute Force Butchers. Last season, they came in last place. This season, however, the indicator and the strategy got a complete revamp, and it is mind-numbingly easy and profitable, obviously, because Josiah here went 21 days out of 21 profitable using Brute Force. Now, if you don't know what the Brute Force strategy is, you can watch this video right here, but essentially it's super easy. You get this indicator onto your charts and you take one of these rocket ship signals, these little emojis that pop up on the chart, and if it's above the price and this moving average here is blue, you can take a one to 1.5 risk to reward. And people were killing it this season. If you want access to that indicator and that tutorial, sign up to the trading floor link down below. If you wanna learn how to trade a $20 account with the 20 pip challenge that I was talking about earlier, check out this video right here. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.